Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how you can get your free uh, X10 hosting account. This is an incredible uh, free hosting service. Uh, no ads. It's the best one that I've found on the internet as of today. So what we're going to do is go to x10hosting.com and then we're going to click on free hosting. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit. And then you choose a username and I'm going to try L Pros and Lazy Recruiters. And over here you can choose either .mx or bz or pcriot.com or elementfx so you get to choose that and then um, you put in your email address and then you choose your password okay I already get their newsletter so I'm going to uncheck that but if you don't you should keep it checked and I'm going to agree to the terms to create the account. Now, you uh, must confirm, you're going to get an email from um, X10 Hosting, and you must confirm before you can do anything else with the email. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, wait until it switches pages, and then we'll go over to my email. Okay, so we're on the other page. So now we're going to go over to the email. And another thing I'd like to mention too is that you have to at least log into the forum once a month to keep your site active. Uh, that's the only requirement for this free plan. So anyway, this is the email that you're going to get from X10 Hosting. And we're just going to click on the confirmation link. And then you're going to log in with your email address or username. There's a couple of steps you need to be aware of once we log in. Okay, right over here we got to confirm the address. And then go up here, click continue. Okay, then we're going to go to hosting. And then we're going to click on update. Now this could take a couple of minutes, so be patient. Okay, and now we're going to continue to the hosting account. And then click continue again. Okay, now here is your domain name, or my, in this case my domain name. And this is where you're going to log into your cPanel. What I'm going to show you how to do is how you can edit your templates. Now if you don't have templates, um, I'm going to click no thanks, I'm fine here. Um, what you can do is if you don't have templates, you can go to lazyrecruiterpros.com and scroll down till you hit here. Click, click here for more freebies. And another window is going to pop up and you'll be able to download uh, free, easy uh, to edit website templates if you need them. Okay? So um, what we're going to do here, we're going to go into our cPanel and then we're going to go to File Manager. All right. Now I'm going to use one of the free templates that we give uh, at uh, Lazy Recruiter Pros. And you want to click on public, by the way. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go into that. And this is just the first template. And what you need to do is this is our first, your, your main page. And your main page needs to be renamed. And we got to call it index.html. Okay? That's standard. So now we've got that. All right, now we're going to go back to our cPanel. And what we want to do too is now we want to create a folder for our images. So we're going to click on new folder and we're going to call it images. Um, use lowercase i if you're using these templates because that's how they're stored. Okay, then we're going to click create new folder. Okay, now what we want to do is um, we need to upload our index page. So we're going to come up here and click on upload. And then we're going to make sure it says public underscore HTML. And then we're going to click on browse. And then you're going to upload your index page. And then while that's uploading, what you can do is you can go back over here to the, to the C panel. And what we want to do is we want to upload our images. So we're going to click on the image folder. All right, just make sure images is up here. And then we're going to click on upload. And now we're going to upload our images.
And it's as simple as that. Now we need to add two more boxes because we've got two more images to upload. Okay, let's see if our index is done. Our index is done, so we can close out of that. And our images are done, so we can close out of that. We're back to our cPanel. And what we're going to do is click on the public underscore HTML. And what you want to do is you want to check the index page because we're going to edit that. And we're going to go to HTML editor up here. And then just go down here and click on edit. And, and this is how you're going to be able to um, edit your documents. Now if you notice at the top here, it looks very similar to Microsoft Word and uh, also similar to if you're using OpenOffice. Um, so this is where you come in, you can uh, change this, all this up here to, you know, whatever you want it to be. Okay, and uh, you can change colors and everything if you just come up here, a box will pop up and things like that. Oops, it has expired, okay. And, um, you know, just play around with it and design it the way you like it. And once you like it, you come over here and you click over here, click Save. Okay. Now, one other thing I'd like to show you is um, how you can uh, actually go up to Code Editor. And we're going to put a stat counter on your site so that you can keep track of all the people that, you know, visited your site. Okay. It's really easy to do. We're going to go into the code editor and then we're going to scroll down to the bottom down here and right in between right after the body down here we're going to hit enter so in this case it's line 62 and then what we're going to do is we're going to go to stack counter and once you register at stackcounter.com you're going to get a screen just like this when you log in and then you're going to title it in my case I'm going to title it lazy recruiter okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go over here, excuse me for a second, and I'm going to grab my domain name and just highlight it and right mouse click and copy. And we're just going to paste it in this box here. And it's a marketing, so we're going to just choose marketing. And I'm in New York time, you might have to change that. And I'm going to click on next. And configure and install code. I like to have an invisible counter, but you can have a visible one if you want. And then I'm going to click on next. Next again. And then all we're going to do is we're going to highlight the code, right mouse click copy, go over to our cPanel, and we're going to paste it. And then we're just going to click on save changes, and now our stack counter is in place. So we're going to go back to the stack counter and go to my projects and this is where you'll see the traffic. Now there's two things I'd like to point out here. Obviously this is a new site so we're not going to have any traffic but if you did you'd click on this and this is where you'd get your site traffic and then it would show you what days and, and how many and down here you can change the date range and look for different dates. One thing I really like about this that you can come over here over to the left click on country state city and this will actually tell you what country your visitors are from, what state they're from, what city they're from, and it'll even give you what ISP addresses they're coming from, which is really cool. Now, another thing I recommend, too, is come over here where the wrench is. Um, what you want to do is you want to block yourself so that when you visit your website, um, you don't want to be counted as a vid visitor on that website. Now, make sure when you're blocking the cookies, you're doing it from the one browser. Like, in this case, it's Internet Explorer. So, I'm going to block the cookies from this ex Internet Explorer. And anytime I go to my site, visit my site to see how it looks or whatever, 
um, I'm going to use Internet Explorer so it knows how to block the cookies. I mean, if you're using Firefox, be consistent with Firefox. But that's a nice thing because it will help you keep um, a more accurate um, account of all your traffic. And it's really simple to do. And if you wanted to, you can go into um, and see right here, stop stop logging my visits so this way it knows to block you you from your visits okay so that's how you do it so anyway I hope this helps you and you have a great day